Hello, this is lecture three in applied nonlinear dynamics and contr nonlinear control. So we just started talking about uh, dynamical systems and then just I'm going to talk about discrete time systems and uh, probably once uh, the, there's going to be another session that I'm going to briefly talk about discrete time systems. Uh, we said that discrete time systems are shown in this form. Uh, xk plus 1 equals f, um, or which as our function, um, uh, which applies to xk and then transforms xk to xk plus 1. So it essentially f relates the state of the system at t sub k, which is xk, to the state of the system at tk plus 1, which is xk plus 1. In general, x belongs to Euclidean, Euclidean space of Rn. So the Euclidean space, Euclidean space, um, which is created by an n-dimensional uh, real, uh, real domain. Uh, so, and t belongs to real domain, and if t time is only uh, evaluated or only uh, considered for um, integers, then t belongs to integer numbers, the set of integer numbers. Um, x, the state, it was said that belongs to Euclidean space and transforms xk to xk plus 1. f um, is essentially a function from M, which are points in region of Rn, to N, which are points in, again, region of Rn. So before I go further, I need to explain something here. If you look at Naifi and Balachandran's um, nonlinear dynamics, they say, all right, X belongs to Rn, the Euclidean space, which is also equipped with a two norm, uh, which is how we compute um, the magnitude of x. But what I wanted to talk briefly is they say that we also have other spaces. They talk. They say that they say that we have Euclidean space and we also have, uh, for example, cylindrical space, toroidal space, etc. But I think that Euclidean space is not equivalent of a cylindrical space and toroidal space. But what we could say is, in my view, is we could say that we have Cartesian space, which is equivalent of um, cylindrical space, for example. And the reason I think it does that way and not essentially put Euclidean space and cylindrical space in the same categories because I think that, all right, so we had this Euclidean space, um, uh, which is thousands of years old, and then we have Cartesian space later, uh, a few centuries ago, defined by uh, French mathematician philosopher Descartes, uh, so Cartesian space is how we define this sequence of points, ordered sequence of points, and define the Cartesian space in a Euclidean space. Now, if you use only the distances, this is how I explain it, you have that Cartesian space. But if you use, for example, one... Uh, linear distance to a line and, uh, and also an angular displacement or an angular position, then you can define a cylindrical space. So I think that you, you, uh, we should say that, all right, Euclidean space, but then we should say that X could belong to Cartesian space or cylindrical space, which are defined under Euclidean space. All right, regardless of that, then F, we said that transforms M to N. Uh, F has a few important properties. One is F is onto, meaning that for every point, for every point in N, 
every point, for example, uh, on left hand side, there exists at least one point uh, in M, which is projected to that point in N uh, by F. So there should at least exist one point, and then it's called onto. Obviously, when we say that, there could be more than one point. But if there is only one point, exactly one point, then that's also a one-to-one -one function f, or a one-to-one -one map. So it is onto if there exists at least one point in M for every point in N, but, and it is one-to-one -one if it only exists one point, exactly one point. And if it is one to one and unto, the map is invertible, meaning that we can go back and uh, compute xk from f inverse xk plus one. And we also remember, you also I'm not, I hope that it all, it's, uh, you can see it, um, and it's not out of frame that if you have control parameters, and later we go to nonlinear control, uh, you also have a control parameter uh, vector. So if f was invertible, we can evaluate f, we can start with x0, then evaluate f at x0, for example, have x1, then evaluate it again, have x2, and we can also go backwards, we can have f inverse x0, because f is invertible. But if it was an invertible, it's a non-invertible map, then we only have x0 and fx0, etc. Uh, there, there are a couple other things. Uh, f is called homeomorphism if f is invertible. So f and f inverse are continuous one to one and onto. So both are continuous and we say when we say continuous it means that we call it c0 but if it is uh, if it is differentiable meaning that it is continuous like um, um, for uh, higher orders for example uh, then it is called diffeomorphism so f and f0 are r times continuously differentiable with respect to the scalar components of x so x is our state vector. We have, for example, x1, x2, and x3 are x scalar components. And then we differentiate f with respect, to, with respect to x1. If we could differentiate it again and again, then we say that f and f inverse are both CR, and r is larger than or equal to 1. So, and, uh, uh, so one of um, the most uh, uh, famous... Uh, uh, maps is logistic map and I'm going to talk about this further I'm going to upload the file a simulation file on github uh, later so logistic map is defined this way x k plus 1 is 4 times alpha x k 1 minus x k x k is between 0 and 1 and alpha is also between 0 and 1 so let me ask you this question is this map a 1 to 1 map so you can quickly see that if I have, for example, if I replace uh, this k, xk with 1 minus xk, I get the same point. So for every point here, I have more than one point. So it's not a one-to-one -one map. But it is differentiable, right? But is it invertible? Okay, so you, so this is the homework. So we have one to. Uh, I have already answered this part, and this part. So you have to think about the last part of this question. And I'm going to come back to this logistics map. Um, logistic map, in fact, it turns out to have also applications for. Um, continuous dynamical systems there are continuous dynamical systems you can approximate in fact with logistic maps all right thanks for paying attention